today's video, I will be reviewing the Wells Fargo Propel American Express credit card. So I've had this card for a little bit over six months now. So here are my thoughts and an in-depth review of the credit card. So let's go over the perks. This credit card, you get 30,000 bonus points when you spend $3,000 of purchases within the first three months. This is equivalent to $300 in cash. So if you take a look at my last video of how often to apply for credit cards, I explained that I usually look for a high rate of return when replying for credit cards. So with this credit card, $300 after spending $3,000 is only about 10% return, which is not the best, but it's still okay. One of the downsides with cash redemption is that you only could redeem cash back in $25 increments. So if you don't have enough points to redeem $25 in points, you're pretty much just stuck there until you meet that threshold. So let's move on to the next point. Another good thing about this card is that you earn three points on eating out, gas, flights and hotels, car rentals, and popular streaming services such as Netflix or Hulu. And you also earn 1% of points on other purchases. There's no limit of points that you can earn and the points don't expire as long as you have the account open. To be honest, I don't even know why this is advertised because pretty much every credit card I came across, points don't expire anyways. The reward system is probably one of the better ones compared to other cards that don't have an annual fee. Which is also one of the best things about this card. I'll probably have this card in my wallet for as long as possible just to continue to build credit history. Now let's talk about the other perks. With this card, there's no foreign currency conversion fee, which is great for traveling abroad. Another perk that is unique to this card is that they offer cell phone protection, which helps you protect your phone from theft or damage. So this is a pretty good benefit if you don't have cell phone protection already from your cell phone company. So in a fine print, with this benefit, Wells Fargo will reimburse you to repair or replace your original cell phone minus a $25 deductible. But wait, there's also a catch. There's also a limit of $600 per claim and also $1,200 per 12 month period. All right, so just keep in mind that this benefit does not cover phones that are lost. So just make sure that this phone is either broken or stolen. Also, another thing in the fine print is that the only way Wells Fargo covers this benefit is if you pay your cell phone bill with this card. Moving on to the next perk, this card is zero APR for the first 12 months on balance transfers. Just keep in mind that when doing balance transfer, there's gonna be a cost of a minimum of $5 or 3% of your balance of the transfer or whichever is greater. So this could be a great benefit if you're trying to consolidate debt and reduce interest rates for up to a year. All right, so let's move on to the next benefit. This credit card has 24 seven fraud monitoring. Nothing special here. Pretty much all credit cards have it anyways. You also get access to advanced purchasing of concerts, theaters, or special event tickets before they go on sale to the public. If you're going to a show or a sporting event, this may be good for you, but since I typically don't go to them, this benefit has little upside for me. This credit card also gives you retail protection. This is a great benefit because in case your purchase gets damaged or stolen within 90 days, Wells Fargo can reimburse you for that item. Just remember that if this item is either lost or stolen, this must be purchased with your Wells Fargo Propel credit card. So per claim, you can lose up to $1,000 per loss, up to a total of $50,000 per 12 month period. So after reading the fine print, you also have to have a police report that goes along with your claim. Things such as damage done by animals, random acts of God like hurricanes or tornadoes, or due to being lost from shipping services such as UPS or FedEx are not covered. There's such a long list of things that the credit card won't cover in the case of there's damage. To be completely honest, this benefit sounds good as a headline, but it seems useless unless it gets stolen out of your hands by an actual thief it's gonna be really difficult to get your items reimbursed. On the topic of purchases, you also get extended warranty. You get double the original manufacturer warranty of one year or less on eligible products entirely on your card. I don't know why Wells Fargo make the wording so complex, but this basically means that you have an extended warranty for a maximum of a year on eligible products. So lastly, this car does give you travel protection. You get lost luggage reimbursement, car rental loss and damage insurance, roadside assistance, 24 seven travel and emergency assistance, and also emergency cash advances. So let's dig a little deeper on the travel protection. Lost luggage reimbursement. Wells Fargo will cover basically just your clothes. The catch is that everything has to be purchased with your Wells Fargo card. It was pretty depressing just to read through the fine print. There are so many things that they don't cover. I don't even know why this is even a benefit. Here to name a few things that they don't cover. Cameras, money, electronic equipment, art objects, and animals. So don't lose your dog on a plane. So the car rental insurance is pretty straightforward. After reading the fine print, it will cover up to a maximum of $50,000 per rental, 
What will prevent you from getting this benefit is if you have a DUI or any type of reckless driving, renting an exotic sports car, and even campers. Another thing that surprised me about this is that if you rented a truck or a minibus, they are also not covered. They also won't cover any vehicle that's worth more than $50,000. So don't go renting a Porsche or an Audi SUV. This really only covers economic vehicles. Now let's talk about the roadside assistance. After reading the roadside assistant fine print, it's pretty horrible. They only cover up to a five mile radius of where you broke down. So if you broke down outside of the city, you're pretty much screwed. Also, they will charge you a $59 fee just for using the service. So it's hardly even seen as a benefit. If you have AAA, please just use that instead. Now let's talk about the 24 seven travel and emergency assistance. So this type of benefit, you really just have a person you can talk to if you have any questions when you're abroad. So just imagine a personal Siri that you have to dial and hold for. You can ask questions like foreign exchange rates, information about local customs and etiquette, basically anything that you could Google on yourself. There will be no fee for the service and it's perfect for someone who just wants to talk to an actual person on the phone. My final thoughts. With that all said and done, this credit card is really not that bad. Even though the sign up bonus is pretty average to the lower end, the zero annual fee makes it worth it. 3% cash back on most purchases is pretty good compared to most credit cards with no annual fees. Really, the only downside about this credit card is that the benefits that they promise might be misleading because you have to meet a very specific criteria for Wells Fargo to cover any claims. So to summarize that part, make sure whatever you're claiming, you purchase with the Wells Fargo credit card. A police report if it's stolen and also if it's damaged, have estimates of the damage of the item. All right guys, so this concludes my video. If you'd like me to do more in-depth credit card reviews, let me know in the comments below of what you want me to do next. Subscribe for more videos on credit cards and personal finance. I'll see you at my next videos over here.